defying death. Missing surfer found alive after more than 30 hours in freezing water. An extremely lucky surfer has been rescued after disappearing for more than a day in the frigid waters of the Irish Sea. 22-year-old Matthew Bryce was last seen on his way to Westport Beach near Campbellton for a day of surfing at 9 a.m. Sunday morning. An alarm was raised at lunchtime on Monday after Bryce failed to contact his family and friends. Local police dispatched a rescue team to search for him. After spending hours searching for Bryce, the rescue team feared the worst. But at 7.30 p.m., a Coast Guard helicopter found Bryce. He was clinging to his surfboard about 13 miles off the coast. A member of the rescue team told BBC Radio that Bryce did the right thing by staying with his surfboard. He was able to stay alive for so long at sea because of his wetsuit. Bryce was hypothermic but conscious when the Coast Guard found him. He was flown to a hospital in Belfast. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more stories about surfing. Aussie idiot sadly does not get eaten by sharks. Harrison Williams and friends were on a boat enjoying the waters off Western Australia over the weekend when they noticed something very large bobbing up and down in the water, which turned out to be a several week old dead whale. Now you or I might find such a sight a rare and interesting addition to your weekend, but Williams is into extreme sports, and this 26 year old thought it would be totally rad if he swam over and surfed on the whale corpse. And so he did, much to the delight of his immature friends. But then Williams looked down and noticed about a gazillion humongous hungry sharks, including a great white or two, enjoying some decaying whale sashimi. Finally, in his only sane act of the day, Williams wisely got his friends to rescue him with the boat, narrowly avoiding a Darwin Award nomination. Moose surfing video might land Canadian boaters in hot water. Video of a group of yahoos tailing a moose from a boat before one of them jumps on top of it to ride the poor animal while it tries to cross a lake is stirring controversy. Moose surfing is strictly forbidden in Canada by laws regarding wildlife harassment. Authorities in British Columbia are searching for the culprit, and punishment for the stunt could be anywhere from $345 to $100,000 in fines for causing undue stress to an animal that wasn't being trapped or killed. A similar incident that happened in Ontario Lake, Canada, ended with $2,500 fines for two men after witnesses provided video evidence of the men circling a moose cow in a boat, and then one of the men jumping on the moose's back and riding it for a few seconds until it darted off into the woods. Although the time and location of the more recent moose surfing video hasn't been determined, and the man in the video has yet to be identified, authorities in British Columbia are asking for anyone with information to contact them. Two idiots surf on a whale shark. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. 10-year-old boy pictured surfing over a great white shark. Meet Chris Hassan and his son Aiden. They're both big-time surfers from Nelson Bay, Australia. On Tuesday afternoon, he was snapping photos of his son catching some waves with some friends at Samurai Beach. 
all was normal until he noticed this lurking beneath his sun. Some thought it was a school of fish, but actually, that's a shark. And not just any shark, an eight-foot-long great white shark. In a Facebook post, Chris said the shark was having a good look at Aiden's yummy yellow wetsuit. Amazingly, the encounter didn't scare Chris or his son, who was back out catching waves the very next day. Teen surfer escaped shark attack using only his bare hands. A Florida teenager escaped serious injury and possible death after punching a shark that had bitten him square in the nose. It all began as the unidentified 14-year-old was paddling out on a surfboard away from New Smyrna Beach in Volusia County early Sunday morning. As he was making his way out to catch some waves with a group of friends, the boy felt a sudden chomp on his left hand. The culprit? A shark reportedly four to five feet in length. Unfazed, the boy let the beast have it and socked him right in the kisser. Before making his way back to shore where authorities helped treat his injuries. The teen is reportedly the second 14-year-old in as many weeks to have been bitten by a shark along New Smyrna Beach. It appears Florida authorities have an outbreak of pedophile sharks on their hands. Let's just hope Chris Hansen's efforts to snarl predators includes those in the ocean as well.